Okay, we're going to talk about finding tax. The first thing I want to do is make sure we remember how to find percent of a number because the sales tax is a percent of whatever you're paying for. So it's going to be a smaller amount than what uh, the whatever the item is that you're buying, but you're going to add it on and you should have gotten that uh, uh, from the previous forms, that sales tax is added on. It's a tax that goes to the state uh, and it helps, helps you know, pay for things in the state like roads and all kinds of things like that. So the sales tax in this problem is 7%. So I need to find 7% of $30. And I am going to use the equation a process. So I'm going to say 7, I'm going to change this to a decimal, times $30. Okay, so 7% 7, 7 of $30 is going to be $2.10. Okay, so I, I could put that in my calculator. I could, but you should be able to figure out um, uh, what that is by multiplying. And so this unit is going to be a little bit of practice on that too. So we know that that's $2 and 10 cents. So I know that sales tax is added on. So then I would take that. This is the, this is the tax. Okay. And so I am going to take that $30 and I'm going to add on the $2 and 10 cents and when I get to the cash register, I'm going to have to pay $32.10. Okay. Um, that is one, one way to do it. The other way is, and it's, it's two steps. So, so let's just look, this is one step. I'm finding the tax and the second step, I'm adding the price, the tax to the price. And so there is a uh, a kind of streamlined method that you could say. You could say that I'm going to pay 100% of that price. I mean, I have to pay the $30, but I'm also going to pr uh, pay that 70% tax. So this is the cost, okay, the cost of the item plus the tax. So when I multiply, instead of multiplying separately and then adding, I could put them together and I could say that I need, I need that $30 pair of jeans uh, times 107%, okay? So that would be the cost plus the tax. So in that case, I'm multiplying $30 times 1.07 because when I change a percent to a decimal, I move the point two places. So that is going to be 1.07. And if I multiply that out, it is going to be $32.10. I will get the exact same answer. So it's two different ways um, of looking at it. Do I get the tax first and then add it to the price? Or do I add the percent of the price I'm going to pay, which is everything, and the tax add them together, and multiply through only once. So those are two different approaches, and you should be, you should master both of them. But as in the other um, videos we've talked about, sometimes there are more than one way to do it, and often um, we see one way more clearly. And so that is, um, so we need to kind of be, um, take that as our own. So I'm going to tell you that um, the second way is the Mrs. C way of doing it, but both ways you can see get the same answer. Okay. So let, let's do one more uh, problem. Let's say, and I'm going to kind of uh, brief this out. So I have a Chromebook. Okay. That costs $300. It costs $300, and the state tax is 6.5%. That's what the sales tax is, sales tax. And I, I wanna, I'm using that sales tax because I want to 
reinforce something to make sure. So in the first way of doing it, I could say, okay, so I have 6.5% of $300, right? Okay, so I want to get that. So I want 6.5%. Want, uh, and here's where I want to remind you. Remind you that when you are changing a percent to a decimal, you are moving the point two places. So as a decimal, this is going to be 0.65, and you would multiply that times the 300, okay? And um, then I would add that. I would add whatever that is um, to, the, to the price. So I have 0.065 times $300, and that's going to be $19.50, and so I would take that, that's step one. And step two is I'm taking the $300 cost and I'm adding the tax, okay? And I would get $319.50, okay? And so that is that two-step method. On the other side, I'm gonna show the how I would do it the other way. So I remember if I have the cost, I'm gonna pay for the Chromebook but I am going to also pay for the tax. So if I have 100% of the Chromebook plus 6.5% tax, altogether, that's going to be $300 times 106.5%, which is going to be $300 times 1.065, and that is also going to get me $319.50. So two different ways. I'm, you know, I'm looking at a couple of different things. One, percent of a number. Two, changing a percent to a decimal, remembering that I'm only moving the, the um, decimal point two places to the left. So remembering that and giving you two different options of how to find sales tax. I can find the tax separately and add it on, or I can combine the two percents, the cost percent, which is 100%, and the tax, and then multiply by that percentage, the total percentage. Okay, so uh, we're gonna practice this in, in a couple of problems in forms, but you can always go back to this video to make sure that um, you know what you're doing. Okay, good job.